Hey all, um, Colandra coming to you. I know a lot of you in this group don't know me, so I'm just gonna do a quick introduction and then real quick, I want to chat with you about essential oils for your root chakra. And you can hear my child throwing them across the room right now. So if you don't know me, um, my name is Calandra. I am a mom, I am a coach, I am a multiple business owner um, and I use essential oils in my own lifestyle and I use them in my business I use them for just about everything so when Kelsey invited me to come into this group and share with you um, how I'm using these oils and how it can relate to your chakras I was really excited and to be honest I haven't studied this a whole lot. I have used them myself, um, but I will share some resources after this broadcast in the link, uh, in the comments below, a couple of links for you for details, um, videos that go a little more in depth, and then also some quick cheat sheets for you because I don't know everything, but I will share my experience. So if you're hopping on, say hello. Let me know that you are tuning in. If you're watching the replay, say hi, and I will come back. So I have four oils and blends that I wanna share with you. What I would love, love to know first is whether or not you have used essential oils before. So I know that this is a hit or miss. I started using essential oils back in October, right after my son was born. So Connor, who you can't really see, but he's over here. Hi, hot mess. He needs a haircut. He was born in April of last year and I started using the essential oils around October. That was when I placed my first order and I had no idea what I was going to use them for or how to use them or any of that. So if you haven't used them before, I don't want you to worry. Um, I am always here for support. I do have a group of my own for essential oils. Um, just is a place for community and education so if you'd like to join you can let me know um and if you have questions on this broadcast just tune in but let me know if you've used them before if you have share your experience and let me know which oils you love to use and if you use them for your chakras so i'm going to share four with you from my own collection and this collection is growing i am obsessed completely obsessed so if my child will give me them Buddy, can I borrow those? Mama, have one? We'll dig right into it and I'll share them with you. So since we're talking about your root chakra, um, and I'm assuming most of you know what your root chakra is, so that is kind of the bottom of your body. So from your tailbone down, and your root chakra actually extends all the way to the bottoms of your feet. And when you're talking about your root chakra, it has a lot to do with grounding, and that is the focus. So I'm gonna share with you my grounding oils how I use them, um, the different situations that I use them in. So you can really use them in a multitude of ways. You could create a ritual out of this. You could just throw it into your routine when you have time. If you're feeling out of balance, if you're feeling like your root chakra is blocked, then you could of course um, use the oils then. So think of some situations in your life where you would like to start implementing these. And for me, this started out as my journaling practice and this started looking like because I hadn't done much journaling before and I was never consistent with it I started a routine in the morning for myself and I would literally come out you guys are in my living room and it's a crazy mess but I would come out in the living room when Connor was still really little and I would sit just like I am right now just cross-legged on the floor and grab my journal and I would grab one oil blend in particular and I just spill it. <laughs> He doesn't like to give these back. So this is balance, and this is actually my favorite out of the ones that I'm going to show you for this purpose. So balance is literally called the grounding blend. It has some really woodsy oils in it, so it has a bunch of essential oils in it. It has blue tansy, it has spruce, frankincense, chamomile, so a bunch in here. It smells delicious. This is like when I got my collection, this was my favorite. And I got this when I first ordered a kit. Um, so there's a few different ways you can start with essential oils. If you need to know about that, you can reach out. Um, 
but this one's very woodsy and earthy. And so when you're talking about your root chakra, you are trying to get connected again and trying to get grounded again. So this is perfect. This blend is perfect for this. If you have no other oil and you have this, you can do so much with it. So I use balance on the bottoms of my feet. And the thing with essential oils is that they affect you in a multitude of ways and they work really fast. So if you're putting essential oils on your skin, they affect you on a cellular level within 30 seconds. 30 seconds. They reach your cells, they start to have an impact on you. So I put this on the bottoms of my feet and the reason for that is because it is equivalent to going outside, and it's really rainy today so this is perfect, going outside and putting your feet barefoot in the grass. So when you're going outside and you're getting connected with nature, that is a beautiful way to ground your root chakra because you're going to start feeling balanced, you're going to feel that peace and get connected with source or whatever you refer to. So I use balance as the equivalent for that. I also like to use it on top of that, so sometimes on a warm summer day, I'll put this on. I should say spring day because it's not quite summer yet. I'll put this on either on my chest or on the bottoms of my feet and then I'll go outside and breathe in the fresh air and that is a beautiful way to start grounding your root chakra. Um, so that is balance. If you want to know more about it, just comment below. Um, and then I guess I'll just go with whatever one I can get from Connor next. So I have four here. And again, if you have oils that you're using that you love, um, and you want to share how you're using them too, feel free. Okay. So the next one that I was able to grab is passion and this is another blend so this is a combination of oils again and this one is actually in a roller bottle so if you're not familiar with essential oils what that means is that it's just um, diluted with coconut oil so you can easily apply it to your skin so this one <laughs> hi buddy he's sitting in my lap now this one is just for topical use. So um, there's three different ways to use essential oils. If you're not familiar, you can use them topically, so right on your skin. You can use them in a diffuser, so aromatically, um, which you could do with the balance blend I just showed you. And then you could also take some of them internally, and you wanna make sure that there is, um, there's guidelines for these. So not all of them can be taken internally, but the ones at least with doTERRA, which is the only brand I recommend you take internally, <laughs> I won't get into that, um, there will be supplement facts if you can take that internally. So this is just a roll-on, you use it topically, and you could literally put this on the bottoms of your feet. Sometimes I actually will rub my roller balls up and down my thighs, um, and since we're talking about your root chakra, the reason I chose this blend to share with you is because it's red, it's called Passion, um, and it is supposed to be inspiring. It's also very grounding for me. I find it very calming and relaxing. So just some of the ones that are in here to give you an idea. Cardamom, cinnamon, so that cinnamon is kind of spicy and fiery, so we're talking about our root. Hi, buddy ginger and sandalwood <laughs> jasmine which is a really beautiful oil um let's see now i lost where i was vanilla that's the other key one in there so it's got those earthy tones in it it also has some very feminine smells to it i actually like to use that one as a perfume sometimes um and that one is great for your root chakra i also sometimes like to rub that one on my stomach so um I don't know which one I can grab now they're all over the floor. All right, this one. This one is On Guard. So On Guard is a protective blend and there's a ton of practical uses for this um, if you're talking about your health and your wellness, but it's also a very spiritual oil. So essential oils, um, if you're just learning about them, they vibrate at a frequency. So I'm getting a little woo-woo spiritual here, but they all have a energetic frequency in them. And because of that, they really interact with your energy. And when you're applying them, it changes the energy of your entire self. So um, On Guard is a grounding blend as well, although it's protective. So this actually kills 99.9% .9 of bacteria, which is crazy. <laughs> I use it for all my cleaning, but I also like to use it for grounding and I will use it in the diffuser. I use it on my skin. This is another great one on the bottoms of your feet if you don't have balance. 
Um, and you also can take this one internally, which it doesn't taste too great if you take it just like in your mouth. Um, you can buy little beadlets, you can buy, um, there's a whole line of on guard products. You could also put it in a veggie capsule. Um, but this one is really great for grounding and really having that protection. So if you're feeling like you're off balance, if you're feeling, um, oh, he makes me nervous dropping these glass bottles. If you're feeling like your piece is disrupted and you're just anxious and you're all over the place and you're feeling those blockages of your root chakra, that one is also really great. And I chose this one to share with you because it does have those woodsy blends in it. So it smells like cinnamon and clove. It really honestly smells like Christmas to me. I love it so much. I diffused that one all day yesterday. Um, so that's another great one. And then the last one, can I have that baby? <laughs> no. Can I have that one? No. Mama have it. Can you say hi to everyone? And if you guys have questions about any of this, just let me know. If I don't know the answer, I will find it for you. Um, I'm not super educated on the chakras, but I do know the general um, idea of what will help you. So I'm really talking about the earthy grounding blends because your root chakra is all about feeling grounded and peaceful and supported and safe and all of that. So, all right, the last one, I got a lot of his hand. And this, when I'm talking about energetic frequency, this is wild. I forget what the megahertz are, but um, frankincense, if you're not familiar with it, <laughs> is the highest frequency oil there is. It's called the king of all oils. And it's also really um, multi-purpose, used for multi-purposes. So um, you can use this for your root and you can use it for pretty much any other chakra. The reason that I choose frankincense is because I find it very peaceful. Um, and of course your experience with essential oils might be different than mine, um, but this is very common for anxiety so if you're feeling anxious if you're feeling kind of discombobulated or overwhelmed this is a really great one for grounding as well and getting connected with source with a higher power I use this one for meditating for being in my creativity um, in my own business whoa Connor's hitting the phone so frankincense is beautiful you can use it all three ways so internally i don't recommend because it tastes awful although you could um, take veggie capsules it's also great for promoting cellular growth so your internal health it is incredible um you can put it right on your skin it's a very mild oil it's not hot so some oils you want to dilute um because they feel really warm to the skin frankincense you can just put right on your skin um as long as you don't have major skin sensitivities and then you could also diffuse it and i like to pair that one with a mint usually so those are my four now scattered all over my living room oils for you guys today. I would love if you are tuning in to let me know if you have questions about any of this, if you're finding it helpful. So the ways that I use these is really most commonly to apply them topically or just use them. And that's my go-to. Anytime I'm feeling anxious or, I don't know what my hair's doing over here, um, <laughs> anxious or just out of whack and out of alignment these tools help me come home every single time they help me really find my connection with what i am needing at that time i like to use these in my journaling practice um, and i also just use them on a daily basis to boost my mood and make me feel better so i encourage you to explore them if you haven't yet again if you have oils um, questions about any of the oils let me know and I can get you set up I can also um, introduce you to my community where there are tons of recipes and resources and then right after I'm wrapping up this video I will post um, a really great YouTube video for you to check out by another woman that uses essential oils for her chakras and she also has a little cheat sheet on her website so I will share that with you um, and then I will be back on I don't remember what the next chakra is that we're covering, but for the next one, and I'll bring another series of essential oils that you can explore and learn more about 
for that chakra. So I believe that it will happen next month. In the meantime, I'm really excited to get to know all of you. Um, feel free to share questions or any insight that you have, and I'll see you inside the group. Bye. bye. <laughs> Can you say bye? All right. Bye, guys.